Hope, Love, Pride. Presented by Waymo. This month we're really excited to share stories that celebrate pride and inclusion, and that includes in the sports world. Yeah, it can still be challenging today for LGBTQ athletes to find acceptance in sports. KPX5 anchor Amanda Starantino shows us how a Bay Area dodgeball league is providing a space for its team members to build community and confidence. Her teammates call her Mama Tao, but don't think this mama can't throw her shot. When someone on that court, they don't even know where that person comes from. Because I become like this, I don't know, Godzilla type person. And, and I scream a lot. <laughs> An intense player on the court and a mama bear on the sidelines, Tao Lei can be whoever she wants to be here. It's like the biggest family I've ever had. Like many adults who move to a new city, finding community is necessary, but not always easy. That is how Tao came across San Francisco's chapter of Varsity Gay League's dodgeball team. The last time I played it was in elementary school, like eighth grade. And I was like, God, I hope I remember what to do. But Tao quickly found her grip and her place on the team, a team that gives her more than just a good sweat. Giving me such confidence to be who I am. It's a camaraderie that um, I, this group that I belong to, they, they give me that. And it's something that, you know, I haven't felt. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. The league's Monday night dodgeball manager, Ryan Madden, wants players to have fun, but most importantly, to be true to who they are, something he could not always do himself. I remember just as a young man uh, finding it difficult to actually be my most authentic self in some communities. Even though I enjoyed sports, I just didn't feel like it was, I was clicking with uh, different members and, and with different athletes. In the past 15 years, Varsity Gay League has created 23 of these spaces in cities across the country for more than 7,000 LGBTQ plus athletes to come together and find joy in sports, to elevate each other's individuality. The reason we have these spaces is so that someone can show up and be 100% who they are because everyone has a right to be who they are as an individual in whatever way they identify. Um, in their life. <laughs> Amongst the chaos on the court between the incredible plays or the silly moves, this is a space where it is all celebrated, no matter who you are and what you are dodging in life. A place to spend an hour to embrace the joy and let people like Mama Tao safely feel like a kid again. Why not? I love it. In San Francisco, Amanda Starantino, KPIX 5.